Hi guys, welcome to Beal Science. I'm Craig Beals. You know, we have found ourselves stuck indoors like much of the rest of the world is right now with this coronavirus thing, but we're making the best of it. And so we decided we would do some simple science today that you could do at home. And all you're gonna need to do these awesome physics experiments is one of the following or all of the following. This stuff, bread clip, a pack of gum if you've got these foil gum wrappers, and a bottle. Specifically, we want the bottle cap. Let's learn some science together and make some projectiles out of regular old kitchen stuff. Let's kick this off with the bread clip catapult. That's the little plastic clip that keeps the bread fresh. We're gonna split that in half. So now we have two little projectiles. And the way you put it on your finger is really what makes this work. You gotta hook it up underneath your fingernail and then just fling the thing. I collect these things all the time. It drives my wife insane, but I keep a collection around the house so that I can shoot these at people if I ever really needed to. You can see how to clip this on your finger and believe it or not, these things go. Like they'll go a long ways and they actually travel very fast. And with a little practice, you can get pretty accurate too. I hit the camera on that one. Nice. I thought, here we go. Let's turn this into a science experiment and really see if we can figure out the velocity or the speed. I put a meter stick up on the fence and then I've got a phone running a timer because for velocity, we need distance over time. That's also called the speed. I'm using another camera from a phone. You can do this at home. This is a really simplified way to figure out the speed of an object. So we can see when it crosses the zero mark, it's at time 12.22 seconds. It crosses the 90 centimeter mark or 12.27 seconds. And we've gone 90 centimeters. That's 40 miles per hour. That's 64 kilometers per hour. How are we getting those kind of speeds? Well, it has to do with rotational kinetic energy. When my finger comes flying off my thumb, it's providing energy or a force that goes with the clip. Now, the clip would just stop with my finger, but Newton's first law says an object will remain in motion unless acted on by an outside force. And since there's no outside force, it keeps going. I'm gonna show you a handy dandy trick. Got all these people running around with these bottle openers on their hands so that they can open up bottles these days. You thought it was to show a sign of marriage, but turns out it's just a bottle opener. The reason this works is also explained by physics. This is just leverage. So I'm using my finger and then the ring as a lever to pry something open. Now, to get it to fly, I've got to hold it in a very specific way. Basically, I'll be snapping my fingers and then I'll just have the bottle cap in between my snapped fingers. That provides the rotation the energy, the rotational motion, to get it to fly off my fingers. And as you can see, it travels along the path of my forearm. So if I wanna shoot this thing straight or shoot it away from myself, I gotta get it up next to my ear and then I'm gonna point my elbow and that's where the bottle cap should end up. Again, this one takes some practice, just like the last one. But once you get it down, this thing will really go. And you can get to be pretty accurate with it. Physics explains why this works. We're adding energy, rotational motion into that bottle cap, and it would stop at the end of my finger, but Newton's first law says it will remain in motion if nothing causes it to stop. Now, I figured, let's see if we can get this thing to fly at the same speed as the bottle cap. We got it to go about one meter in 0.06 seconds. That's 60 kilometers an hour or 37 miles per hour. That's fast. Now, what I'm wondering is, can you beat it? If you set this up at home, could you beat me? My challenge to you is get that bottle cap and get that bread clip to go faster than I did. And then tell me down in the comments how it turned out. Let's build a rocket out of a gum wrapper. Sounds good, doesn't it? You'll need gum that's got a foil wrapper on it. And you're just gonna take that wrapper off and put it around your finger. Okay, wrap it around there so that you make a nice tube and you want that secured pretty tightly. Then you gotta take the top, pinch it nice and tightly, and then roll it up ever so slightly and get it clamped down. 
Well, our rocket is going to fly using the principles of volume and pressure or changes of volume and changes in pressure. Now, if I change the volume of the air in my hand, in other words, I decrease it very rapidly, it's going to cause an increase in the pressure of the air inside my hand. Now that air has got to go somewhere. And if I have my little gum wrapper rocket on top, it's going to come shooting out because of the change in pressure. Now, my kids were helping me this day and my son said, Oh, let me try. I can do that. Maybe he could use one more lesson. There's the one you made. Put it in here like this. Watch it. You get that gap. I'm just going to try to close that gap. Ready? Here you go. Where'd it go? Yay! He eventually got it. Hey, we hope you learned some science that you can try out at home, especially if you're stuck at home right now with all this coronavirus madness. And we also hope that you stay well, but the reason we always make these little videos is to remind you to keep on learning. Well, thanks for watching. Go eat some bread. <laughs>